morning and welcome to Pilates. My name is Samantha and today we're going to focus on glutes just because I think we're all spending a lot more time sitting down. Um, I think in general as a <laughs> as humans we sit lots so today we're just going to really fire up the glutes, the hamstrings, and get that entire lower part of our body moving, strengthening, and all from the core and the Pilates perspective. So we're gonna do some mobility exercises first. We're just gonna warm the body up. So come down on your hands and knees here. <clears throat> Now we're just going to make circles with our hips. We're going to lean to the side, so you're going to feel a little stretch on the outside of the hip here. And then we're going to keep that stretch, and we're going to roll back to the other side. Feel that stretch on the other side, and then come forward. Keep moving in little circles. And really feel that stretch all the way to the side to the back and then to the other side. Bring it up, switch sides, stretch, deep breathing, nice and around. Don't worry about how it looks, just about how it feels and just get really sick, sit in that hip, lean and then go back and around. Then we're going to come into a 90-90. I'm just going to switch it around so you can see. So you have 90 degrees here. So your quad is parallel to the long edge of the mat. Your shin is parallel to the short edge of the mat. And at the back, your quad is parallel to the back of the front edge of the mat. And your shin is parallel to the long edge of the mat. And here we're going to move forwards and back, forwards, and back, and forward, and back. Now we're just gonna lean forward and we're gonna pulse here a bit. Just gently come down with that belly button towards your thigh and move. Can't go very far here, that's okay. Switch over. So we really want to kind of wake up on the tissues and the joints before we start exercising them. And the reason why this is important is, is if they're awake, they're more likely to do their job. A bit like us. So lean forward and back, forward and back, and then we're going to lean forward and we're just going to move, pulse here, and sit back, put the feet mat wide, you can even place them outside the mat. We're going to do some inner rotation of the knees. And again, here you really want to keep the two sit bones on the floor. So don't drop the knee in and then lift your bum off the floor. Drop the knee and just drop the knee. Keep the two sit bones on the mat. And you see, it won't go very far. Internal rotation, at least my internal rotation, is not great. So drop it to the inside. Drop it to the inside. And if you really want to wake the tissue in your glutes up, okay, before we start the exercise, we can even roll it out. But I'm going to keep this to the end. Um, so rolling is not only for massaging or for releasing muscle pain. Rolling can also wake your tissue up so that it is activated and fires up better and quicker. All right? We're going to lie down on our back now, and you can take a pillow and fold it double and place it between the knees, okay? So you still want to be able to squeeze it, squeeze it, squeeze it.
squeeze it. Or if you have a Pilates ball, and these are fairly inexpensive from uh, fitness stores, you can place them in between your knees and you can use that instead. So we're going to start with the little muscles inside the hips. Keep the feet hip distance apart and we start to squeeze the ball. Squeeze the ball. And we do another 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Bring the knees up. 90 degrees, keep that lower belly, lower back on the mat and keep that belly button pulled in. And you're also going to squeeze the knees. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Place the ball back down. Now you really feel the adductors working, okay? So that's the point of the ball. If at any point it starts to get too tiring here, you can always do these exercises without the ball. Keep them there for that added extra element. From here we're going to do roll-ups into half bridge. We're going to tuck the tailbone under, really glue the spine down, and then we're going to roll up slowly. <clears throat> And then we're going to inhale, roll down. Now I want you to articulate the spine, meaning that as you roll up, you're peeling yourself off the mat. And as you lie down, roll down, you're placing the spine from top to bottom on the mat. We do another eight. Seven, six, keep those ribs tucked in, five, four, we don't want to come up and flare, we really want to keep the core nice and tucked in, three, and you should be feeling the isolation of the muscles here. Two and one. We roll back down nice and slow and we're going to walk the feet one step away from our butt. And we're going to continue the roll ups now. Keep that ball squeezing actively between the knees and we roll up. We go 10 for these. And again, here be careful not to overextend that spine. We're keeping the ribs tucked in. We're keeping the belly button pulled in. And you should be feeling all the squeeze in the glutes and in the hamstrings. Nine. Inhaling down. Exhaling up. Eight. Squeeze that ball between the knees. Seven. Six. Five, four, three, two, and one. I'm feeling it burn. I don't know about you. Slowly roll back down. Take a breath here. And then we're going to walk the feet one step out. We're going to place the heel on the mat. And then we're going to squeeze that ball and we're going to roll up into half bridges again. Now beware, you might get cramps here. And that's okay. Just make sure that you're really rubbing that muscle when you do. If not, do as many as you can and then take a break. Please don't force anything. If you can do all of them, great. We're going to try for 10. 
All right? And we start to roll up, squeeze the ball, flex the feet, and we go. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, Drop those knees out and just let everything hang for a moment and just breathe here. You might need to shake up the legs as well. So, if you want to bring the knees in really, really close at this point, then you're taking a break. Move the body in a way that feels good for you. And then we're going to place the feet, this time without the ball. I'm going to roll up into half bridge. And again, here too, make sure that you're not flaring the ribs. Tuck it in, kind of tucking that tailbone, scooping it under a little bit as well. And then we're going to bring the knee up towards our forehead. We're going to point that toe, so come onto that left toe first. Hold the rest of your body stable. The only thing that's moving is that one leg. Bring the knee up, bring it down, tap. Bring it up, tap the toe. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two and one. And side. Again, make this side really stable. Bring that right foot onto the tippy toes. Fire up this glute, this hamstring. Keep the core nice and tight. There we go for ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Place the foot down. I'm going to roll down. Take one relaxed breath here. Exhale. Then inhale, we're going to roll up again. Roll up. Again, keep those ribs tucked in. You can see the knees. You can see the hip bones. These are keeping horizontal. They're staying where they are here. We're going to straighten that left leg now. Again, the rest of the body stays stable. When you start to swing the leg up and down, try not to wobble the hips, okay? Try to keep the hip bones here as horizontal as you can. Hug those ribs in. We go up and down. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two and one. Gently place the foot back down. We switch over. Straighten that other leg. Activate this glute here. We go up and down. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, 
five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful. Roll back down. Take a happy baby, or just hug the knees in. Take a deep breath in. You can give yourself a gentle little massage. Because we're going to roll back up. <laughs> it's a glute session, so we really want to feel this tomorrow as well. And for the rest of the day. So what happens when you sit for long periods of time, your fascia, so the connective tissue that is in between and all around all your muscles everywhere, and that connects into the lower back. When you sit on it, it dehydrates, okay? So it's something that's actually very sticky and gooey and helps keep everything moist and moving. If you sit on it the whole day, the fascia constricts, it gets dry, but um, we, have a lot, we have a lot of receptors in there. If you've been sitting the whole day and then you decide to go up, you get up and you're gonna go for a run, chances are those muscles aren't going to fire up properly because you've been sitting on them the whole day and everything in there is kind of asleep, okay? So it's very important to either release with a foam roller before you run just to wake it up or to do exercises where you get to really, really isolate the muscles. So we're gonna roll back up. Again, keep those hips nice and steady. Walk the feet all the way to the outer edges of the mat. We drop the knees out, and here you're gonna feel, okay, so many other glutes. So not just the big ones, but the medius as well. We're gonna squeeze the knees together, open them, to the outer edges of the foot, squeeze the knees and the hips and the core stay in one spot. Okay, we go seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And then we walk the feet back. We're going to bring that left leg up towards the ceiling. And we're going to roll down and up, halfway down, and then back up. Here too, don't just drop your hip and keep your belly button up. Really roll the spine and move from that rolling action. Let's do 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Switch over. Same thing. Roll down, roll up, roll down, roll up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bring the foot down, roll everything. And we're going to grab the knees. We're going to roll back and forth just to Massage the spine a little bit. You might feel it in your lower back. You've been working hard. Now we're going to come up into sitting. Hello. But we're not done yet. We're going to swing over onto our hands and our knees. And from here, we want to make sure that we're pulling in our belly button. Okay? So you're tucking that tailbone in a little bit, but you're not hanging in that lower back. Pull that belly button in, tuck that tailbone under, and your ribs are coming towards each other. And if you're not sure how to engage those deeper core muscles, 
Try exhaling to empty your lungs. And you feel that when you're trying to get that last drop of air out, the ribs really have to come together to squeeze. Those are your deepest core muscles, the transverse abdominals. These are the ones that you want to engage. From here, we straighten that left leg all the way back. And we're going to kick up and down. Here too, I'm not so concerned with the height of the leg, but I want you to really feel that it's the glutes lifting that leg up and not the lower back. Okay, we can do this, but if you do this, you might really feel that that glute starts to fire like mad. Let's do 10 of those. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. And we're going to bend and we're going to flex the foot. So the, foot, the bottom of the foot is pointing up towards the ceiling. And here too, we're going to kick that heel up, but keep that core stable. So you're kicking and you're feeling the glutes. We're not kicking up and moving in our lower back. Tuck that tailbone under and start to kick up. Up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bring that knee down. You're going to switch over that other leg straight back and tuck the tailbone in slightly and we start to Lift up, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. We bend that knee, flex that foot, and we kick up. Tuck that tailbone under, pull the ribs in, 10, 9, 8, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Come back down and sit back in child's pose. Take a breath. And we're going to come and lie down on our sides. And here, I leave it up to you. You can either lie down and rest on your elbow, but you want to make sure that when you do that, you're not hanging in and lounging in your shoulder and in your waist. If you're going to come up on the elbow, make sure that you're really pulling yourself away from the mat. Same thing, if you choose to lie down all the way on the floor, make sure that you're not hanging here, but you're really activating the side of your body and your core. All right, so you're still creating that waist. So today we're gonna to come up into our elbows, but if you have shoulder issues, you can always lie down. Make sure that that waist is activated. You can place one hand on your waist or on your hip. If you'd like a little bit more support or balance, you can place your hand in front. You can also reach the hand up towards the ceiling when you're doing the exercises to add another variation, okay? For today's purposes, I'm going to keep it in my waist. I'm going to lift that top leg up, just hip wide. I'm going to make small circles forward. Now try not to swing the entire body. Keep it nice and stable. And only that leg moves. Okay, so they don't have to be big circles. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. We go backwards. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. We're going to kick forwards and backwards. 
So we're going to kick forward and then flex the foot, bring it back. You don't have to go all the way back because you don't want to arch it back here. Kick it all the way back as far as your glute will let you take it. Kick forward, flex back. Eight, seven, six, five, four, keep lifting, three, two, and one. Should be burning quite a bit on the side here. Lie down. And then we're going to bring the knees 90 degrees in front of us. Okay, here too, remember, when we start to do the exercises, you want to lift and activate the obliques here. So you want to create that little waist where the hand can go under. And from here, we're going to flex the feet. We're going to bring our shin in the direction of the ceiling. So not just the foot, we're not opening the knees. We really want to bring that shape entirely up. And you really want to feel the squeeze on the side here. Let's do nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And I'm going to swing the knees and the hips back, the feet as well. Okay, so when you're looking down, you have more of a straight front of the body. The knees are still in front of it, not entirely straight, but the heels are actually trying to reach your back. We're going to lift the heels together off the floor, and we're going to Charlie Chaplin the feet. So here, again, create that little waist. Okay, we'll come up on your shoulder. But what you want to do is you want to open that knee up towards the ceiling, okay? This you keep up, keep that little waist here, and we go 10, really squeeze up here. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, hold it there. If you want to make it really tough, straighten that leg, but kicking it back and hold it there for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And close. Give yourself a little pat. We're going to swing over to the other side. And here we're going to do the same. So come right on that elbow. Again, keep this side activated. We're going to start with the straight legs. Again, you can place your hands on your waist here. I'm going to lift this left leg, hip height, and we're going to make circles. 10, 9, 8. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and back. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And then we're going to kick forwards and backwards. Ten, flex back. Nine. Flex back, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And then we're going to bring the knees forward, 90 degrees. You can rest your head down and make sure you're creating that way. So you're pulling those obliques in, activating that core. And then we're going to flex the feet, 
and open the knees up. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. And then we're going to do this composite bum exercise. So shift the heels all the way back, okay? Lift them up. Keep the heels together and we open up the knees. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Five, four, three, two, one, and then extend that leg straight out and a little bit to the back and hold it there for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. And one. And give yourself a little pat. Now roll onto your belly. Just to finish it off, one more exercise for you. And then we're going to roll out. I'm going to show you a little bit of ways to roll it out. We're going to place our hands in front on the mat. We're going to rest our head down. We're going to Bring the heels together and then we're going to open the knees up to the outside edges of the mat. We're going to bring the heels together and then we're going to lift the heels up towards the ceiling. We try to keep those knees apart. Okay, so don't do this. Keep the knees apart and just lift it up. We really feel how it starts to squeeze here. And we do 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Lower the legs out. Push yourself into a child's pose. And we can rest here for a few minutes and then we're just going to roll out a little bit muscles. If you have a foam roller at home, you can use a foam roller. Okay, this is also the day after you've got a leg day or something like that. You can always use a foam roller. I like to use the foam roller to get thick and uh, superficial layers of the fascia. So for the glutes, I always make a number four. And so, and then I lean a little bit to the side to get really into those tissues, especially up close to the hip bones. Both sides, this is how it looks like from the other side. So my legs crossed and I'm leaning a little bit onto the side of that group and that feels good. So again, be gentle with yourself. There's good pain and there's bad pain. Actually good pain Really pain is just a very strong sensation. Make sure you breathe. And then you can get in there with the ball. So I've noticed that the right side is a little bit more sore than the left side. Pop it under there. Ooh. Drop that knee down, really relax it. And then you can make circles 
and really go and search of those areas that need that extra love and care. Just really sink in there, make sure you breathe. Thank you for watching. I hope you have a wonderful weekend and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.